Hey guys, Dave from Nerdarchy, for nerds, by nerds, hang out with this nerd. I'm Ted. And uh, today we have an unboxing. Um, Zach from Lesser Gnome was nice enough to uh, send us a package from his Death and Tax Taxes uh, Kickstarter. Um, I had signed up for it and I'm waiting for the fifth edition copy. Uh, yeah, but I, and I told him, yeah, I uh, reached out to him and said, hey, you know, we have this website and this YouTube tube channel and we do these do some stuff. <laughs> um, and we got to talking and he, you know, he offered to send uh, the OSR copy, uh, which is uh, uh, a retro clone, basically, of D&D, AD&D. &D. And, and that's what we have here, uh, minus conversion. So I don't even know what he sent. Because he's because yeah, I say you know what do you want when you send? Should I just send the SOR and uh, you know some notes and stuff like that uh, via email, uh, which we'll put in the article. Um, and I and I said sure, you send whatever you want our our fan base to take a look at, and right. uh, you know we'll show it. You know, and the reason why I signed up for this this Kickstarter was because it was a box set, and I you know that got me excited. And there was like all kinds of things that he was putting in there, like miniatures, depending on what level you're at. Right. There was different kinds of miniatures, miniatures, different sizes, you know. Um, now I don't really paint minis, but I know Ted does, and some of my friends do. So uh, I'll, I'll probably sh shuffle them off in that direction, you know. Because uh, if I do it, it'll be like, why is that no all silver? <laughs> I'm like, well, that's the spray can, a can of spray can paint I had. So now I understand one of the problems with with the box sets are that um, oh no, packing peanuts. Uh, one of the problems with the box sets are um, once you get them open, it's hard to get the stuff all back into it because <laughs> he's got them so packed. Um, you know, so it says death and taxes on it, lesser gnome, and uh, we we get, we have like the reptilian eye as uh, as as the cover art or the box art. And there's the back. So. South of the Whisper Vale, an ancient embassy awaits, a mandate that shifts the scales. So like they're like the headings, and then you know there's a little, there's a little sentence for each. Um, you know the you know the the art and cover or the art on the box is very simple, but I like it. I think it's kind of elegant. You know, and if you actually look, you can see that the the box is jam jam packed <laughs> filled because it doesn't close all the way. Yeah. So this is uh this is your go. So all right, what do we got in here? Oh, they fooled you. It, yeah, yeah, <laughs> we did fool me. It's not that hard. Uh, we investigated the box for just yes. packing peanuts. Yep, just just packing material okay. left inside. <laughs> I rather struggle. <laughs> it's more fun that way. It feels more like an adventure. <laughs> Watch Dave struggle with cellophane. It, it's it's more dreadful than even the uh, gelatinous cube. Wow! As I as I'm pulling away the cellophane, the box is just popping. <laughs> Sorry, right, I'll clean that up later. I kid, I kid. All right, we had the box. It is off. Uh, we have. Ooh, that's nice. Oh, it is kind of nice. Um, looks like so we got some signatures on here. So it, you know, it's a clear. It's basically a clear. Um, it's kind of like a, I want to say wax paper, but it's firmer than that, yeah. almost like a plastic. Mm -hmm. You know, and it's just a cover sheet goes on. Um, let's see, is it numbered? I'm trying to hold it to the things I can see better. <laughs> I didn't really definitely read some, that. There's definitely something at the bottom. Yeah, there's, there's some signatures. I don't know it if says they are coming. Okay. Okay. So we have one. Here, I'll hold them. All right. I'll just pass them to you. One, two. Is that a, like a DM screen looking thing? It's like a DM screen, but it's also like maps and stuff. Oh, yeah. There's definitely. Um, uh, map map books in there. So 
So we got um, what are those two books? Do they have a t uh, say what they are? Uh, Game Master's Guidebook and Adventure for Classic Fantasy RPG. Okay, and then we also have a regional setting guide. So, so far, I'm pretty impressed with, with everything that's in here. Oh, absolutely. Um, I will say too, like when you if you check it out and you go to buy it, it, it will be a little bit more expensive because they're all small printing runs. So right. it's it costs them more. Oh, you know, unfortunately, they're, they're it's a small not, publisher. They're not Watts. <laughs> right, and, and, you know, ooh, that is really nice. Hold up that corner. Yeah, we can show them upside down map. <laughs> <laughs> is it upside down? It is upside down, right? Yeah. So let's, uh, let's <laughs> we'll, go, we'll go this way. So that's sharp. I like that. Yeah. Okay, now we're getting into it. Okay, now we got, we got some minis here. Still in the package. Ooh, it comes with dice and a coin. Uh, let's see. Um, okay, so a die six. I wonder. Oh yeah, yeah, they are lesser gnome dice. Uh, so um, the high number is replaced by the lesser gnome's uh, symbol, and you know, and the coin in there. That's really sharp. We have the uh, Imperian Ward pack. Comes with an archivist, a harpy, a siren, and a sylph. All uh, you know, the the metal based uh, figure figures that are. Unassembled and unpainted, old school like Absolutely. Uh, Partha. Absolutely. There's a another one. Uh, this not labeled, but it looks like it's probably your typical adventurer pack. It's got a handful of different stuff in there. I don't know how well you can check that. Uh, so uh, we got another one here. This guy looks pretty badass. I am not sure what he's supposed to be. Uh, oh, he, oh yeah, he is labeled on the bottom. Uh, Rygan. He, he looks like, uh, you know, he, he'll be pretty fun to, to paint. Again, I don't know how well you can, you know, see the detail on that. Um, it's a tentacled looking monster thing. Now, this is really freaking cool. I'm not actually going to open it up though. Okay. Uh, it is actually a, a letter. Um, I don't know if you guys can see this. This is actually a letter. And it's sealed with wax. Yes, and, and it's got some burn marks. Yep. I was gonna. And uh, I don't, I don't actually know if it, it, if there's anything on the other side of this, if it's just a play aid. But in all honesty, uh, if there is something on the other side of this, I actually don't want to open it. Right. You know, unless I'm playing the game, right. running this adventure, and then I would hand, you know, hand this to the players. I would let them open it up and check it out. It, that's a nice touch. You got a uh, blue dice bag with a lesser gnome button. And there's two card card packs. Um, not exactly certain what what they are at this time. This this could be you know mo monster stats. This could be you know items. It looks like so. Yeah, we could. Uh, are they cellophane? Yeah. Yeah, these we can actually we'll open these up. There's no harm. There's no harm in that. Um, this, but the wax seal one, I think that's just way too cool to open up without you know if you're not using it in right. the game. Right. Open up will be a blind piece favorite. <laughs> Son of a, you got me, Zach. I, for some reason, I don't think so because so much detail is going and everything else. I agree. So yeah, these, this is absolutely a a set of uh, set of items. You know, the blushing ruby ring, the chamberlain's abacus, the circlet of command, ink of deception. Magic porcelain cat, a plus two scourge, the sly scent of seduction, which is a perfume. I heard uh, at first the, um, I heard skirt instead of scourge. Scourge, yes. <laughs> <laughs> what, which one was, yes, a plus two skirt. <laughs> yeah. We got the stiletto of soaring, a, the sigh ring, and the zyster of mercy. Okay. Now this, other, so they're all items, right? Yes. Um, so that, that's that's a lot of magic items in there that you're getting, and um, sorry guys, there's so much stuff here, inundated with stuff and being swamped. Um, and all, you know, uh, it's gonna be hard to see the uh, see because it's white. Um, and we had the the lights up for filming, but uh, 
Yeah, like each one of these has uh, each one of these cards has their own art to go along with them. And that's and that's a, that's a really nice touch. Um, we also have we also have and Ted was correct items and monsters, and the monster cards actually these are a little bit more visible because I think we have some <laughs> some yeah we have some dark, but yeah these are all all new monsters, and the art is really sharp on them. I'm I'm really digging on it. Um, when I jumped in on the Kickstarter, I got I went in on the uh, like seventy dollar level or, or or something because I just wanted more of the goodies, and I definitely went for whatever level was going to give me access to the fifth edition version. All right, so that that miniature of, of the Horigen, um, yeah, it must it looks like it's a uh, some kind of deep monster. It says the 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 deeps destroy and devour. Only rarely do they create. When they weave living beings, they create horrors. The dark shades form the messenger, uh, cries from the dying, and screams of the tortured are sub subsumed into its sinews. The abomination is called a horigan. Nice. And that's the, the metal miniature that you know looks pretty neat. Now, for you guys that are playing 5th edition, like these monsters will convert to 5th edition far easier than any other version, in my opinion. Mm -hmm. uh, you, the, the, the monster stat block in this edition is very close and similar to uh, AD and D. Uh, there's also a set of dice in here, just the uh, Chastic regular dice. Because, you know, everybody needs dice. Yeah, you can never have too many dice. And we got yet another. We have a box within the box, and it appears to be slightly sealed. I need to mess up a sticker. And uh, it's more miniatures. More miniatures. What do we got there? So we got a bone beard. Looks like a crab looking monster. Okay. Yeah. A knoll warrior pack. Everybody's familiar with what knolls are. Um not not labeled, but it's a, a stack of little six fig six legged uh critters. Oh yeah, like some monstrous kind of rat or something. And then we've got an uh, an Empire Guardian. Oh, very cool. So, so what do we got here? You sent us uh, four, One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, uh, seven packs of uh, minis. Of minis. Two two things of dice, a coin. Yeah, the the lesser known coin and dice, and then you know the the pack of. Uh, just a standard set of die. Um, we've yeah. got, a, you know, the the play aid of a uh, a sealed a wax sealed letter. That's freaking awesome. The I love the, that. the monsters, the the ma uh, the magic items. Oh, there's a lesser known button. The map. The map. The regional setting guide. The game master's book. The adventure. The adventure maps. So let's just uh, start. You know, I have the uh, regional setting guide here. And I'm going to, I just want to see how many pages are in, here in this. Uh, we got, looks like 50 pages in here. The uh, adventure book. Don't tell me you don't have pages. Oh, there we go. Pages <laughs> up top. So you're looking at about 70 to 75 pages in the adventure book. And then the DM's guide, uh, which has got stats monsters magic items you know that's a little over 50 pages as well so that's quite a bundle almost 200 pages worth of, worth of stuff so it's not bad plus the minis you know when you consider what you're paying for even just a standard wizards of the coast um adventure nowadays which is usually 50 you know. bucks cover price mm -hmm. you know so I i'm really happy with this i like the nostalgia of the fact that it comes in a box and you know it's fun to take it apart and see what all the components are uh there's there's some really good details in here um that that like generally you would do as a dungeon master in your homebrew game where you'd like add this stuff to your game but you know they're giving it to you just to put right in their game right uh there was definitely some other add-ons that looked really cool uh like there was the like a hydra fountain i saw the fully painted up uh assembled picture of it on their uh, facebook page which you guys can go check out uh, matter of fact in the description below i'll put their facebook page i'm going to put you to i'm going to give you a link to the welcome to the death and taxes um website or web page so if you guys want to check any of this stuff out you can 
Uh, there will be there will be a Pathfinder version. There will be a fifth edition version. No, then, you got the fifth edition version, right? I do. It's coming. So yes. when that one shows up, we could do another unboxing for that. Yeah, we could and see what the difference is. You know, um, you know, I don't know. Or maybe we'll open it and look at it and see if it's worth it because because I really think it's going to be very similar. Okay. Uh, the same. Uh, it'll be the same stuff. Only things will be. Uh, you know, rules, for. rules and statted out for right. a 5e system instead of OSR. But like I said, I like you could literally take it, take the OSR version and run it for fifth edition pretty easily. Right. Uh, but you don't need to because they're going to put it together in fifth edition or Pathfinder. So you, you know, or OSR. So you have a couple options there. Absolutely. So uh, I think it's worth checking out. Um, off the top of my head, I don't know what the price is going to be. Uh, uh, retail. It's probably on the site. You guys can check it out. I'm very happy with it. Can't wait to get my fifth edition version. Um, you know, you guys can let us know in the comments below uh, what you think. Like, share, subscribe. You know the deal. And uh, since we talked about Facebook, why don't you head over there and check out some funny memes? So until next time, stay, stay nerdy. nerdy.